Hello everyone, welcome to Go VM Lab. In this series of lectures, we are going to discuss about VMware scenario based interview questions and answers. We will help our learners to prepare for VMware L1, L2, L3, and senior level profile from the interview perspective. We will be touching upon some of the key foundational concepts and topics of this vSphere product such as virtual machines, snapshots, networking, storage, migration, clustering, so on so forth. So we will be picking some of the real-time scenario based questions and then we'll be trying to solve these scenarios to help our learners to prepare for VMware interviews. So now in this particular segment, we have uh, taken up a very first topic which is virtual machine snapshot. As you all know, virtual machine snapshot is the basic topic of vSphere product and yet it's a very important topic from the interview perspective. So now let's try to understand some of the snapshot specific scenarios and let's see that what happens in a specific scenario whenever you try to perform delete, delete all, consolidate and the various other operations. So with that, let's get started. So now welcome to our series on VMware interview questions for L3 and senior level profile. Here goes our question number one. Now, before we go and try to understand the, the question here, let's try to have a, a understanding of this particular scenario. Now, what this scenario says that you will be having a virtual machine where you have taken a very first snapshot and that snapshot is considered to be base snapshot and a user has written, let's say data value A on that specific base snapshot. Then what the user has done, user has triggered uh, uh, another snapshot named as child snap one and user have also written data value B on that delta disk on that specific snapshot. So as you all know that snapshot is a point in time image where you will be having a, a disk for holding all of the data related changes and you will be having a memory file for all of your memory specific changes. So anyway, we are not getting into the depth of snapshot and how the snapshot works. That's a different topic altogether. But here we are just trying to understand the scenarios and trying to understand the, the exact outcome of these questionnaire based scenarios. So now what the user has done in the child snap one, they have written value as B. Then what the user has done, it has taken another snapshot named as snap two. And in this particular snapshot, it has written a data value C. So now if we just try to see this particular scenario, a user has taken three different snapshot. The very first snapshot data is written as A. The second snapshot data is written as B. And the third snapshot data has written as C. And currently a user is actually being presented to this particular state. So that's a pretty standard snapshot chaining process. You might have been seen n number of times during your VMware administrator journey and it really simplifies the way we actually go and create our snapshot. So now let's try to understand the question here. What is the question is saying? Now the question says that in a given scenario, what would be the final output written to the disk after delete all snapshot operation performed by user? So now you all know that there is something called delete all operation. So the question here is says that this is the snapshot chain or this is the snapshot tree. What do you see it here? And you as a VMware administrator go and perform delete all operation. What will be the end value written to the disk after successful delete all operation? So as you all know that when we go and perform delete all operation, it does two things. First, it does the consolidation of your data where all the data would be written to your base disk and then it actually go and delete all your snapshots in the snapshot tree. That's what pretty much about your delete all operation. So the answer should be pretty straightforward here that as when user go and perform the delete all operation, the C, the as when user go and perform the delete all operation in the given scenario, what is going to happen? All this snapshot data changes will be merged to the base disk and after successful merging, all these snapshots in the chain will be deleted, which means that your B data will be returned to A. 
So that would become A plus B. Then your C data will be returned to this base disk. So that would become A plus B plus C. So now if we really see that, what is going to be the final output after performing delete all operation, it is going to be A plus B plus C. And then all these snapshot will be deleted from your snapshot chain. So if I just try to draw it here, what is going to be a final output when I go and perform delete all operation? So it's going to be my virtual machine base disk. And the final output, what will be written to this particular disk would be A plus B plus C. And all these snapshot will be deleted. So that's what pretty much will be the answer of this particular given scenario. So that's conclude a very first scenario, a very basic scenario in a virtual machine snapshot where we have discussed that as when a user perform delete all operation in a given snapshot chaining tree, all these delta changes going to merge to your base disk. And once the merging has been done successfully, all the delta changes have been written successfully to the base disk, all this snapshot will be deleted. And the base disk will be having a final output as A plus B plus C. So now this concludes our very first scenario about the snapshot where we have discussed that what happens when a user performs delete all operation in a given snapshot scenario. Now stay tuned for our channel for upcoming uh, many more scenarios about VMware interview preparation. If you have interest in learning VMware more in depth, not from an administration perspective, but from the architect or consulting perspective, then join our VMware vSphere 0 to Hero Data Center Expert Program. This particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners. 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our Zero to Hero Data Center Expert Deep Dive Program with the 100% placement record. Now, what are the key highlights of this program? As you could see that it's India's first job ready VMware learning program, which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands-on labs. 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning. We do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals. You would be getting opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one in person doubt clarification session with the VMware mentor. And this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for L3 or senior level profiles. Now we have transitioned many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen. These are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us. So what are you waiting for? If you want to become VMware expert or want to master this technology, then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address. Thank you.